Hey, what's going on, Paisanos? Welcome to another episode of How To. Uh, these have been gone for a little bit, but I wanted to bring them back. First thing we're going to show you, or the only thing we're going to show you, is how to get more duty officers. So you have ranks and these sub factions. They level up, and you get more people to put into your active roster that have different effects on your combat abilities. Now, you can spend money to get them. I'm showing you the way where you don't need to. So it'll come up under assignments and you can only have 20 currently so make sure I don't have any. And it looks like I don't have the ones I'm looking for. So what you do, very first thing, you dock at our space dock. Then you beam down to Starfleet Academy. Very simple. There's a couple different areas you can walk to down here. But I'm going to show you the way to get this done with, I think it's five missions that you have to have done. So once you're down here, what you do is you look around for that building right there. The one you can see inside. That's the main building you want to go to. Once you're over here, you just run on down. Now on the map you see the duty officer symbol, which is the three different shirt colors. And you see it down here too. Well the first thing you do is talk to this personnel officer. And then you want to submit a request for personnel. And then you click on each of these, which I can't do because my cooldown is still going. I think it's once every three, two to three days, I believe. Not exactly sure about the exact timing, but it'll pop up in your duty roster. Now, I will show you where two special ones are, and you guys can get these as well. They're kind of hidden, but they're not that hidden because you just use your map and you can find them. Now, the ones you get in there will for be... For more than just one person most of the time. Come to these guys. Talk to them. Let's do the Tellerite Exchange. We hit start. We go to Duty Officer. And look. Right here. We will get... Uh, one, two, three common Duty Officers that will bind up on pickup. And you begin assignment. Now I click on this guy again. As you see, it is grayed out. So I will not be able to do it again. We're going to do the Andorian. Same thing. Takes 20 hours to complete. And during those 20 hours, they will be under your, uh, uh, what do you call them, the duty officer quest. So it'll be one of your 20. Since there's two of them there, it'll be two of your 20. Actually, I am needing to find out. There is a Vulcan one too. I just don't know where they are off the top of my head. So I kind of use the map and go in that general direction. Go this way. As you see, there's two showing up on my menu. And the Vulcan one should be right over here because I think I know where it is. Right there. There's a Vulcan personnel officer. Walk up to him. You hit A. You get your mission. You complete it. That is how you get all your duty officer quests. And once you have them, you will continuously grow your duty officers. That is the main thing I wanted to show to you for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, comment, share. If you like what you see and want to help support the channel, check out Patreon down below. If you can't afford the monthly recurring uh, fee for that, don't forget you can do one-time donations with the PayPal donation link in the description. And then don't forget to check out Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch. All links in the description. And lastly, if you love the intro or like the intro, there's a link to the uh, artist in the description as well. Have a wonderful night.